Hey everyone, I'm here to talk about ShamWow. Now unless you don't watch TV, you've definitely seen the ShamWow commercial by now. Now I've seen the commercial about 6,722 times, and after watching it that many times, I have a feeling there might be some inaccuracies, maybe some mistruths, and a couple of downright lies. Now I'm the kind of guy who pays attention to detail, and as I got more and more annoyed with the commercial, I started to pay more and more attention to the inconsistencies and now I feel like I need to share them with somebody. Now all I'm going to do is give you some highlights. I'm not going to go through line by line in the commercial. I'm just going to stop at the spots that I found interesting, funny, or ridiculous. First thing he says is, you're going to be saying wow every time you use this towel. And I think to myself, yeah I'm going to be saying wow I can't believe I just sent this guy 10 bucks for a cheap chamois. Then he goes on to say that it's made in Germany and you know that the Germans always make good stuff. So what you're saying is you approached American engineers and said I really need a really good chamois and they scratched their heads, they couldn't figure it out. So you went over to Germany, you approached some German engineers and you said, I need a chamois, and they worked tirelessly and came up with the sham wow for you. And so we're expected to believe that it's some sort of high quality German, the Volkswagen of chamois, if you will. He then goes on to claim that Olympic divers use it to dry themselves off. Now I'm a big fan of the Olympics. I watch diving. I don't ever remember seeing a sham wow. And I find it hard to believe that somebody would get out of the pool Somebody would present them with an 8x10 beach towel emblazoned with the Olympic rings on it. Here, dry yourself off. Oh, no, 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 no. I brought my sham wow with me. Does a much better job. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that situation happening. Um, it's a claim that you're making. I don't think anybody's going to get up and sue you over it. But it, it seems a little ridiculous to me that an Olympic diver would take time to haul a sham wow with them to an Olympic event. I think I need a little more proof on that one. Then he moves on to his little segment where he has a piece of carpet, he pours all kinds of cola all over it, and you can look and you can see before he does the little demonstration that cola is actually seeping out of the sides. It's got a puddle coming out of the bottom of this carpet. And then he lifts it up and he shows you this giant puddle of liquid. The camera angle changes and suddenly the carpet is still there but the giant puddle happens to be missing. And then he says, we're going to do this in real time. And I'm thinking to myself, I guess starting now, obviously it's not starting before you poured the cola because you've obviously switched out the rug or wiped some of it up. He then, you know, blots it a little bit. Then he wrings it out and about 800 gallons come out of it and land in a bowl. And immediately I'm thinking, I have no way of knowing how much liquid is actually in the rug, how much liquid was actually in your sham wow. I think the whole thing's a bit of a sham. No wow. And then when he's done, he lifts the carpet up to show us that it was dry underneath, which it probably was before he even started. And then I love the part where he goes, are you with me, camera guy? Like the camera guy cares. Like the camera guy's excited to be filming Vince doing his little sham wow thing. If I was a camera guy, I'd be like, yeah, I'm with you, because I have to be. When's my break? Then we go on to the testimonials. The first lady says, I can't live without it. I just love it. Now, if you look at her, you can see that she's actually got one under her arm. So she just bought it. She just bought it, but she can't live without it. So one of two things, she's, she assumes she can't live without it, after seeing the demonstration, or she's replacing one that she's already had, which doesn't make any sense because it's warrantied for 10 years. And I don't remember the ShamWow commercials being around 10 years ago. So I'm gonna have to assume that she's just assuming she can't live without it. The next lady says, oh my gosh, I don't even buy paper towels anymore. Again, she's holding a brand new one under her arm, same as the last lady. And I'm thinking, well, then that must be some sort of future prediction for you because you just bought the thing. And uh, I assume before you got here, you didn't know you were going to buy the thing. You didn't, you know, three weeks ago go, oh, my gosh, I'm not going to buy paper towels anymore because I'm going to be picking up a sham wow in three weeks. I don't. It doesn't make sense. Make sense, please. And then some guy comes on and says something. And then these two women say, all I can say is sham wow. Well, that's extremely constructive. You know, I wasn't going to buy one until I saw your testimonial. Now I'm hooked. I'm convinced. What is that? Why? All I can say is sham wow. What does that even mean? And then Vince says, if you call it within the next 20 minutes, because you know we can't do this all day, you'll get a second sham wow for free. Does he really enforce that? Is there a person on the phone who called and said, so when did you watch the commercial at 8.15? Well, I'm sorry. It's uh, 8.36. You're one minute over. I'm afraid I can't give you the second one. Uh, sorry, no, I watched it at 8.22. Oh, okay. Okay, well, no send you one then. The fact that the commercial's on every five minutes makes that whole 20 minute thing moot anyway. And then we're, they're giving you the details. They say, beware of ShamWow imitators. Yeah. You mean like the kind I can get at my 
local hardware store in the chamois section. Now my wife knows how I feel about all this and despite that she came home with a sham wow from a local store near our place, a discount store. I don't even know where it is.